Okay, so you got to be saying to yourself, there's dealers out there that are just holding on to their used cars, expecting them to, I don't know, continue to go up in value when week after week, we consistently see that they're dropping. What is wrong with these people, I ask? Out the door price merch, car mom merch. We are really becoming influencers here, Pop. I hate that word, by the way. But dad, you are speaking <laughs> the truth. What the hell is going on another week? Black Book data shows another three-fourths of a point decline across the board for the industry, larger declines than every week prior in history. Like normal, normal week over week depreciation is like two tenths of a point, three tenths of a point, four tenths of a point. We are on week 10 now. Yes. Of nearly a 1% decline every single even, week. Even if we say it, it averaged three quarters of a point, okay, in 10 weeks. That seven and a half percent decline in wholesale values. And there are still dealers out there that are holding on to their aged inventory, refusing to sell it to the highest bidder at the auctions because, well, it hasn't met their minimum price. Well, the problem for those dealers is it's never going to hit their minimum price because their minimum price should be declining, much like wholesale auction values are declining. If you were like most of the other people watching this video, you're thinking to yourself, when should I go buy that used car? Because, well, I keep hearing wholesale used car prices are falling so I can get a better deal. Used cars are more negotiable this week than they were last week, and they will be more negotiable next week than they were right now when you're watching yes. this video. That being said, interest rates are expected to continue to rise. So factor that into your equation. They're expected to go up next week. Exactly. That being said, even if dealers are holding out on advertised prices, we had the sales rate at the auctions, the lowest rate it's been, I, I think, in years, 54%. Yes. So five out of 10, one out of two cars actually sold at the auctions last week. And that's because the sellers are just holding their floors. Yes. Just absolutely, they're saying, nope, we're gonna keep holding on to it, keep holding on to it. If each week the wholesale price continues to go down, for you, me, everyone else that's a retail customer, that means eventually they're either gonna sell it at the auction for less, which means it'll show up on another dealer's lot at a more competitive price because they yes. bought it for less, or yes. that dealer is gonna send it right back to the retail storefront and say, okay, just, just I'll take my loss, let me try and make it up on the back end. Well. At this point, you 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 would you would either have already taken it back to your lot, yep, and said, "Okay, we're going to find a retail buyer and we're going to mitigate our losses," or they would have sold it three or four weeks ago when they could have gotten more for the car. Thinking about getting an extended warranty? Go to joinyaa.com and check out our pricing there. There's no obligation, no spam, no robocalls. YAA for your extended warranty. For any dealer that's sitting there thinking that this is the time of year where used car values appreciate, historically it's not. This is the time of year when when uh, wholesale used car values at auction are declining and the declines this year are happening earlier, historically earlier in the, in the year yep. than they have in the past. So I don't know how much more information these dealers need to see that we're on a downward trend on wholesale values, which ultimately, since there's a softening of the of the used car market, will ultimately find ourselves with lower retail prices because that's the only way you can draw customers in is by price. And if you keep pricing everything too high, people will keep staying away. And if you start to lower the price, then maybe, just maybe, customers will come back. Obviously, we love tracking vehicle price histories back on the Join YAA website. Vehicles that have been sitting for 60, 70, 80, 90 days, those are going to be ones as customers we have the best chance to either get a good price because they finally lowered the price or just negotiate a more fair price. Dad, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about what we saw in the Black Book data this week. The biggest thing that Black Book called out is the disparity in older vehicles and newer vehicles. Older vehicles are not depreciating as fast. Let's quantify older. Yeah. Eight to 16 year old used cars Think about that. are not depreciating as fast as two to eight year old cars. Let's try and make sense of this. Why would that be? Well, because uh, eight to 16 year old cars are the most affordable in today's market because the retail values haven't uh, reflected the change in the wholesale market yet. Um, and, and so those are the vehicles that um, a lot of people can afford. Yep. So the eight, to eight but that, if that doesn't scare you, nothing will because there's very few eight to 16 year old used cars that don't have um, a lot of issues. 
I mean, you know, age alone um, takes takes a toll on a vehicle. Age and mileage takes an even greater toll on a vehicle. So, uh, you know, for those vehicles not to be declining in value at the rate that they should be, that's scary. That that means that we're going to find more older cars of questionable quality um, available on used car lots in the not too distant future. Eight to 16 years old also means out of, of course, the bumper to bumper manufacturer warranty, but likely out of the powertrain warranty oh, as well. So a lot of exposure being taken on by the customer who buys an 18 to 16 year old used car because it is a more price attainable vehicle. Very, very, very tough pill to swallow. Fortunately, think about the depreciation curve. At least that 16-year-old car shouldn't depreciate that much more. You know, so it's like kind of kind of uh, a balancing well, act. Well, when it when it's completely worn out yeah. and stops running altogether, it's it's worth nothing. All right, Dad, let's talk a little bit about what we saw by segment of vehicle. Compact cars had a nearly one and a half point decline week over week. Near luxury cars, prestige luxury cars, and sports cars all continue to have precipitous declines down yes. in the market. The compact cars, it's good to see there. That's probably being in influenced by less rental car companies being at the buy side mm -hmm. of the auctions, which should eventually mean more competitive pricing in the used car market for compact cars. Absolutely, because the rental car companies are actually getting their cars from uh, the OEMs. At this We've point. seen fleet sales finally tick back up. Yep. I think they yep. were up 25% year over year for the month of September. That's a good sign. Yes. Then in the truck and SUV segment across the board, everything's down with compact crossovers and SUVs and subcompact luxury crossovers and small pickup trucks leading the declines there. Absolutely. And and I'm reminded of comments that I see where where the commenters will go, oh, big deal, one point. That's per week. OK, so that is a big deal. Um, the suggestion it's not is is being disingenuous. I agree. OK, you have to you have to look at it over the course of time. Well, Dad, and, wait, wait, wait. If you're the if you're the person leaving that comment and we mm -hmm. asked last week and we'll review it next week. Yeah, actually post the update in the comments here. Remember, we asked people to go to joinya.com slash sell. Use our sell widget. Get the quotes from all the dealers in your area and compare it to where you've been, where we are now. Do it again this week. See where you're. You know who cares when it's a 1% drop or a 2% drop or a 3% drop? Me, you, the viewer, when it's their car that yes. they're thinking of selling. Yes. Because you you're seeing cars lose thousands of, of dollars, dollars in trade in value or you know sell value each week. We get the emails, we see the yes. comments, thousands of dollars. So I agree with you. We see a lot of comments, 1%, no big deal. Okay, well, when it's 3% and it's happening to you, you <laughs> care. Well, and, and when it's 1% a week, it is a big deal. Yeah, it, it really, really is. is. Yep. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back next week. More of the same, likely. Yeah, we promise.